What's the deal? It's your girl Sisha now here back with another video. I'm going to be talking about what's better, eBay or Depop. It's been one month since I've used both platforms. I personally like using Depop more than eBay. Let me explain why. I feel like what I'm selling, which is clothes, a younger, trendy crowd, opposed to eBay, where you can sell anything. People sell a lot of stuff on Depop as well. They don't just sell clothes. Um, they sell electronics on there. They sell um, art on there, you know? But they also, the main thing is clothes. Opposed to eBay, you can literally sell anything. When I first decided that I was going to start selling stuff online, which was one month ago, I made a Depop and I made an eBay account. But I decided that I like, oh my god, look. I decided that I liked Depop more than eBay because I sold things faster. Um, right when I started putting things up on Depop, I literally had sales like the same day opposed to eBay. I had a lot of scams. I didn't really understand how eBay worked. Um, I thought I set it so that people couldn't place bids, but I guess I didn't set it right. So people were like placing fake bids on my items. I had put a pair of Gucci slides on there um, and a lot of scammers. Now I know that they're scammers, but I did have a little trial and error where I thought people were legit trying to buy my Gucci slides um, and they were scammers. Um, once I accepted their bid, they would send a message saying, oh, text me on this phone phone number and just trying to do the transaction outside of eBay, which is a red flag. You never want to sell anything, even on Depop, outside of Depop, which I'll get to that in a second too, because there's scammers on Depop as well. So I kind of went back and forth. I tried to cancel the transaction. I alerted eBay and told them that it was a scam and I um, sent a screenshot of the message. So they ended up canceling the transaction and then it happened again um, and eBay did not cancel the transaction and the, the buyer never paid. So at that point, I just took all my items off Depot, I mean off eBay because at that point I still had, I had listed three things on eBay and I probably had listed 20 things on Depot and at that point I had already sold like probably eight things within like the first week I was on Depop. But I had quite a few sales. I was really excited. I was like, oh my God, like I literally was just like, I'm moving. Um, I have all these clothes, like they're in great condition. Like I donated a lot and I wanted to sell some stuff cause I knew it was still of good value. So that's exactly what I did. And um, I've made $500 in one month on Depop and I've made $10 on eBay. I sold one thing on eBay, I sold a sweater. Pros and cons of Depop is that you get sales right away. Even though I didn't have any seller's history, I just put in my bio, hey guys, I'm moving, so I'm updating daily, which is true to this day. Even though I moved, like I still have stuff in my closet I look at every day and like, I don't really need this. And I'll just take a picture with that shit on Depop, ship it out, like literally all the time. It was interesting for me to say the least, just learning Depop because I wasn't sure how it worked at first. So just my experience with it um, has been, it's been positive for the most part. Besides the only thing that I really don't like about Depop is that the only way you can receive your money is through PayPal and I hate PayPal. Like I cannot stress this enough how much I hate PayPal. Like it's like the worst money sending service out of all the money services and I just wish that Depop had their own system where you could just set your debit card up and have that money go straight to your bank account or um with like your account and your routing number that would be so much easier just to eliminate PayPal because PayPal holds your money over it doesn't matter what. At first, when I first started, I was like, okay, they're holding my money because I don't have that many sales, which I understood. I just made a PayPal. I didn't even have a PayPal prior to me 
having a depop i did do my depop probably two years ago that's a whole nother story um comment below if you want to hear the story on my deleting my paypal but um i made another paypal just so that i could sell on depop and um they were holding my money and it was fine at first i understood i'm like okay it looks kind of fishy i'm a new account whatever i need to get my seller's history i have over 30 sales in the first month which is honestly great that's like a solid day but whatever you know i have 140 dollars that's being held right now so it's like irritating because it's like i understand that it's like fraud protection or whatever it is but i just feel like if no one has filed a complaint against me or has raised any suspicion or has requested a refund then give me my damn money because it's mine and they are quick to take their fee but they're not quick to give me my funds and that pisses me off okay so that's like the worst thing about depop another thing about depop is that they have scammers as well um i haven't ran into any of the only scammers that i personally have ran into um they'll message me and they'll be like hey i'm interested in this item can you text me and they'll send me a, a phone number to text them on and i just always kind of reply hey i only communicate through the app i only do purchases through the app if you're interested you know we can talk through the app and that usually weeds out all the bad guys and they won't reply um, they want you to text them because then once you text them, they're going to be like, hey, my uncle is in New Jersey and he wants this, but um, he needs a gift card or whatever the scam is nowadays. Like, we hit to that. We have been bitter on the scammers, okay? We be, we, we be with the scamming niggas, so y'all ain't pulling no bad shit over here, okay? Period. So, that's basically the tea on that. Another thing... Um, that I like about Depop is just the fact that I was able to sell quickly. Um, you're able to do your shipping inside of the app. That's cool as hell. It just saves a lot of time. You just print out the paper. Um, if it prints out with the P priority mailing, you just get, I actually have one right here. You just go to the post office and get one of these. They are free and you can just ship in there, print out. Um, your shipping label stick it on here and you're good to go if it prints out as an F which is a first class package means you have to provide your own envelope or your own poly mailer um, so it's good you can buy like 50 poly mailers or 75 for five bucks on Amazon and just keep them in your home um, I just ran out because I had bought like 20 I think I bought a small one because I didn't know I'm out. I have to get some more, but that's me on the point. Um, basically, eBay is trash. There's a lot of scammers. You don't sell as fast, and there's way more like verification process. Like, then they charge you a nine dollar seller's fee every month, even if you don't sell anything, or even if you sold something and the person didn't pay you because it's a scam. So that's annoying as hell. I wouldn't suggest using eBay unless you're a huge seller. Um, like I understand like when stores like electronic small electronic stores sell on eBay, things that you need that protection from fraud and all that, like bigger things of more value, stuff that's a thousand dollars, I can understand why they would use eBay opposed to depop depop i feel like is low-key just more for the younger crowd who wants to buy something for a great price like something trendy something cute for a great price which is why i like depop more if you have any question comments or concerns or you want to get a conversation go ahead and comment below let's get a conversation going i would love to talk about which one you guys love more do you guys love depop do you guys love ebay go watch my new video about weed tea uh, how to make weed tea can of tea that i just dropped two days ago and i'll see you next time please don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right bye